All right, gentlemen, that's it for today. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks sir. Hey, Paul, I was just calling you. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I am. Our performance is falling below acceptable limits. We need to get this under control fast. Agreed. Here, let's take a look. Oh, it's a gas compressor again. That thing is bleeding us dry. It's had nine alarms in the last quarter alone. Really? The compressor? Do we know what's causing the problem? Hold on. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's the sleeve bearings. <laughs> How did you know it was the sleeve bearings? Well, it's been the same problem almost every time the compressor's had an issue. We've been talking to the bearing manufacturer, and they have an upgrade available. It's more expensive, but they claim it'll last 20% longer. Look at this report. We can see that the repair costs for that compressor are really steep. So I think we can definitely justify the expense of the upgrade. Oh, that's great information. We didn't have anything like that six months ago. That's for sure. It's a huge change. By combining our predictive diagnostic information and the CMMS cost data into one report, we can identify and justify maintenance activities like this one, this bearing replacement on this gas compressor. I tell you, Chuck, overall, I have more quality information whenever I need it than I ever had before to do my job. I mean, this compressor thing's a great example. From the slumping OEE, we could pinpoint the issue. Most frequent failures and their costs, got them. Cause of the failures, got them. Done. And we get the information anytime we need it. And my home page is customized with reports I need. Yeah, our teams can be more agile, uh, you know, uh, uh, find the bad actors, uh, get to the root cause. Makes a big difference in how we apply our maintenance time and repair budgets. Exactly. And I've got about 20 other examples from the past six months. And I'm looking forward to the reaction I get from corporate when <laughs> they see our numbers. I can point to great new cost savings. Uh, we're, we're just operating uh, more proactively, more responsibly. My team uses the risks to reliability report every day to ensure that we're focusing on the right assets to keep the plant operational. Yeah, you uh, worked with Emerson to prioritize those, right? Yeah, we base it on failure modes and effects, uh, the operational significance of the equipment, how the failure would impact safety, the environment, and production. Yes. Six months ago, we weren't talking about any of this stuff we see here. And these assets are our greatest source of vulnerability. No, exactly. Yeah, if for me, you know, I can answer to management by monitoring the key performance indicators. Uh, well, here it is in a nutshell on one screen. With the KPIs, I can see bad trends, get information about the assets that have caused downtime this month and cost us availability. Uh, I can make the direct connection between asset performance and business performance. It's had a huge impact. Oh, you bet. Well, those numbers are also a testament to what you guys have done with your teams to get them on board with this new system. Let's not forget that. Thanks, Chuck. It does help us focus our work. Do you think we can keep it up? You mean, is this type of improvement sustainable? Right. That's the, that's the question corporate's going to have. Well, we'll always have issues come up with our assets, but with this type of information, we can make decisions to keep them performing and driving to our business goals. I mean, there's no question we've got better information. We're performing better because we've got better tools. It's great to have a good decision validated. I think we can keep corporate happy if we do that, don't you?